Yeah. Can you speak back in the floor for me? Sure. Turn on Rosie. Hey guys, EBP Man here, and in today's video, I'm gonna share you how you can clean your home just with your voice. This is EBP Man Tech Reviews, and today we're gonna to take a look at the cable. This is a really smart robot that will vacuum your home using Alexa or Google as a control. Let's check it out. Now there's several key features that make this an essential tool for every home, starting with the suction power of the vacuum that's gonna do a really good job of taking out any kind of debris or dirt that you may have in your carpet. Um, in addition to that, you have a 150 minute runtime, which is gonna do a great job for larger rooms. You also then have the ability to control where this robot goes by using the magnetic included strip that will create no pass zone. So if you have children or a pet area that you don't want the robot to go, you don't have to worry about that either. And then also the dust tray is washable. You can actually rinse it out with water and clean it up as soon as it's filled. Now the old robot also includes some very worry-free features, including the fact that it will go back to its charging station when it needs to be recharged. And also it has a find me feature in the event that it does get stuck maybe under a sofa or some area in your home and you just don't see the robot. So all you have to do is find my robot, you'll hear a beep and you'll be able to find it. Now inside the box, in addition to the power station and the power cord, you're gonna find your robot, a remote control to control the robot. Uh, this magnetic strap here that is going to allow you to create no pass zones with some 3M tape to keep it down. You do have an additional filter uh, that I'll show you where this goes and then a little cleaning tool. Now one of the coolest things about this robot is that while you do have a remote control that's going to allow you to control the robot manually if you wanted to pick up certain areas of your home, one of the things that I enjoy the most is the fact that I have mine connected with both Alexa and Google. Now the power of this is not just the fact that you can speak a command to start the robot as you saw in the beginning of the video, but you can also create either if you're a Samsung user, Big Spiggy Routines, Google Routines, or Alexa Routines, then which means you can have this robot start automatically every day and not have to worry about telling it to start. So to me, that's really, really powerful. It creates a second level or the next level of home automation by just automatically having it start when you want it and controlling it either through Google or Alexa. As we take a closer look at the robot itself, we'll just flip it over so we can see the bottom. Um, in the very bottom here, you do have um, some uh, whiskers or, or um, brushes here. And the system does come with some additional brushes. So you do get two additional brushes that I just wanted to make sure that I included. So you can see how you have some extras. And what this is gonna do is as these are rotating, it's sweeping any of the dirt into this area that it's gonna suck up. Uh, you do have some rubberized feet here and you have this little foot right here. This is the charging points. And then this is your bumper area. Notice that as I press this, um, if it runs into a wall, a brick, uh, let's say, you know, the bottom of your wall where you may have wood, um, you're not going to have any damage because there's some ru rubberized um, areas right here that are just going to allow it to bounce off. So it goes all through my area of my home, as you saw, without any problems. You have a physical power on off switch. You have, this is the, the, the brush area where all the garbage or debris comes up. And then this is what you'll use this little tool here um, if you have to clean out um, again, these bristles. So all you have to do is, is take things out and you can see how it's starting to lift stuff up really quickly by just um, using this little tool here. And it has a little cutting tool because if you ever had a robot before, sometimes it gets uh, caught up with some string or loose debris. Now, um, inserting and removing the, the tray is pretty straightforward. So all you do is you push the button over here on the side and you take it out like this. And you'll notice that you have a little um, filter. So that's gonna make sure that if there's any dust, it doesn't get uh, lifted up in any way. And then what you also have is, a, you can open this up like this and you can see, just by running into my floor, how much hair. So we have uh, three Pomeranians in the house. So there's a lot of dog hair. Uh, so I love having this run because it just goes through the house, picks everything up, and I don't have to worry about it. So uh, you'll notice how it'll trap it. All you have to do is wash that out. And then once you washed it out and dried it, you just slap it back in and then you let Google or Alexa run the house for you. Now, for those of you who are interested in the remote itself, let's check that out for a couple seconds. So this is the manual remote. Keep in mind that I have mine automated in the house. I really don't direct it with this at all, but you do have the ability to make it go in any direction, play, pause, auto, make it go home. Um, you do, you could use this to schedule the cleaning, but I prefer to use you know, my, uh, either my Amazon appliance or my Google appliance to do that. And then you could actually set kind of like the different routines. But again, I control everything uh, through either Alexa or Google. 
So now that you've seen how I've automated the vacuuming of my home, you may wanna check out these videos to see how you can improve your movie viewing quality by checking out our LG NanoCell 8K TV review or taking a look at this playlist on the best call quality on the market when it comes to earbuds. I'll see you in the next one.